I'm Phyllis Jackson. So glad you could join us for Stay at Home Connect. The FDA issues an emergency use authorization of convalescent plasma as a potential treatment for COVID-19. Convalescent plasma comes from recovered patients and is thought to provide antibodies to help boost the immune systems of those who receive it. Doctors say studies have found it to be safe, but questions remain about its effectiveness. According to the FDA's guidance, the treatment should not be viewed as a new standard of care. Emory University infectious disease specialist Dr. Carlos Del Rio shared his thoughts during a recent briefing. The available data up to now suggests that there may be a slight benefit from giving plasma. In particular, if that plasma comes from individuals who have very high levels of antibodies against the COVID-19 virus. And up to now, we really have not had a well done randomized control trial in which we compare receiving plasma to not receiving plasma. Those studies are currently ongoing, but obviously the results of those studies are not yet available. In a closely watched judicial battle in Florida, a judge sides with the state's largest teachers union, placing school reopening plans there on hold. Leon County Circuit Judge Charles Dotson issued a temporary injunction blocking Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran's emergency order, which required schools to reopen in person by the end of the month. Dotson says the state of Florida, quote, essentially ignored the requirement for school safety by insisting teachers resume in-person learning, end quote. The World Health Organization says routine or aesthetic dental work should be delayed until COVID-19 transmission rates go down. The concern is procedures that produce aerosol sprays from the patient's mouth and the fact that it could lead to new infections. The organization says urgent or emergency dental interventions are okay and that patients should be remotely screened in advance of their appointments. The University System of Georgia waives SAT and ACT requirements for admissions. The move impacts the spring, summer and fall semesters of 2021. Officials say the pandemic led to limited testing availability and that's what drove the decision. Students will still need to meet GPA eligibility requirements. Atlanta City Council President Felicia Moore discusses women's equality and the 19th Amendment during her Conversations with the Council President event, which airs via Facebook and YouTube Live. That's it for this edition of Stay at Home Connect. I hope you have a great night.